If you ever need to draw a line in between two paragraphs, because let's say the one up above is an entirely different thought than the one below it, so you want to border it off, or maybe box it and make it a box quote, in any case, to go ahead and put borders in between paragraphs, you could hold down the shift key and hit the underscore, but that's going to take too long and limits me with the more advanced editing and or features in Word. So let me go ahead and hit undo. Instead, I'm going to use the border feature, which can be applied to either selected text or paragraphs. First off, let's do it to paragraphs, and I'm going to apply it to this paragraph right here. Now, if it's just a single paragraph, I don't have to select it. I can just go ahead and place the cursor anywhere within it, because Word knows what a paragraph is. As you recall in earlier training videos, when you come up here on the Home tab to the Paragraph group, turn on the codes, everything from that paragraph marker up until the next one is a paragraph. So I clicked within those two markers, so these three lines here, when I use the border feature, will be applied to, well, these three lines, or as we see it as a paragraph, but also as Word sees it, because I don't have a hard return at the end of these lines, making them separate paragraphs. Just at the end of all three lines, making all three lines a paragraph. So let me come up here and turn it off. And to apply the border to it, come up here on the Home tab to the Paragraph group. And there you go. Hover over it, you can see in the pop-up says Borders. And when I move down below it, you can see that you got a box there. And the box, for the most part, is fuzzy, except for the bottom. That's going to be a bottom border. So if I click on the box, it means it'll add a bottom border to the paragraph that I have selected or the cursor that's flashing in it. Click on it, and there you go. Now if you're like, that's a little bit too squishy tight, you can do one of a couple of things. You can either click after it, hit enter, and it'll push it down. Or you can use the paragraph feature to go ahead and right click and go to paragraph and then go ahead and add some spacing after the paragraph because when you hit enter now you've got, well let's turn on the codes here you have that paragraph here and that border that's on the next paragraph in any case getting a little too techy let's keep it simple and deselect it and come at the end hit the delete key and then come back up here and click on the corresponding drop down arrow and see what else you got how about a top border when you hover over it, it gives you a preview of it in the document click on it, there we go, click on the drop down arrow, maybe we want outside borders, we got a box quote now, well I don't have the quotes inside of it, but I could go ahead and offset it, so it'll grab the reader's attention, it doesn't have to be a quote in it, or click on the corresponding drop down arrow, and to get more detailed, click on borders and shading. Now in the borders and shading window we have three tabs, we have the borders, page border, and shading, we're just going to be working with the borders and the shading for our selected text or paragraphs and page border. Well, that's another video. So first off, the borders tab. You've got some settings default over to the left-hand side. If you want something that has shadow, when I select it, well, before I select it, notice over here there's the preview window. When I select it, now it has shadow. I'm going to go back to box and change some of the details of the uh, border around the current paragraph instead of the default style a line how about if we go ahead and do a bunch of dashes there and then it updates it over here cool and maybe a different color make it red and how about a thickness of a width that's super thick and chunky oh that's pretty kooky and if you don't like that well we can go back to a simple style make it red well maybe not a half point maybe one point and if you want to be able to mess this up just a bit and say, look, I'd like the top and bottom borders to be red and the left and right green, then go ahead and deselect those two. And you can deselect them one of two ways. You can either click within the preview window and get right on top of the lines. But if that doesn't work, then you've got these boxes on the outside. And if you look at them very closely, you'll see that each box is fuzzy but has a solid line in it, one solid line. So the box here has a top solid line for the top border. This box has a bottom solid line for the bottom border and left and right for, well, left and right borders. So I can go ahead and change the color to green and then say that's left and that's right. And, ooh, that seems kind of fun. Let's click okie dokie and Merry Christmas. Well, let's come back up here, click on the drop down arrow and go back to borders and shading. And if I'd like a little bit more spacing, well, between the border and the first line of the paragraph or even the last line or even on the sides, and then you can go ahead and click on options and you've got it from the text you can have the top border from the text well come in here and type in 12 or go ahead and use the spin dial 
and then when you hit the tab key it gives you the preview pushes the text down keeps the top border 12 points away from the first line and then click okie dokie click okie dokie and there you go now when you go ahead and you double click and you select a word there notice that it selects the extra space up above you may be led to believe that that could be paragraph spacing so if you right click on it and go to the shortcut menu to paragraph do you see any spacing before the paragraph there no it's zero so now having watched this training video if you're like hey I thought he told us about paragraph spacing there's none there well now we know that when we have a line around it that it's the border spacing so then you want to come back up here click on the drop down arrow and actually if I start messing with the borders and shading right now with the selected text it's not going to show me when I click on borders and shading the box around the entire paragraph because it's thinking I just want to do it around the selected text okay let's go ahead and put a box around that selected text and you can see over in the preview window statements gonna have a box around it which is gonna look horrendous but nonetheless you can do it you may have reasons for doing that and then click okie dokie and ooh, there you go and so of course with my cursor flashing anywhere within the paragraph and I try it again down to borders and shading and then I get it back up so I can go ahead and click on options and set that back down to one hit enter hit enter and then if I'm like oops I don't like that around statement double click to select the word and then go ahead and click on the drop down arrow borders and shading and sync for that word uh, maybe you want to change the colors or just go ahead and remove it but you don't have to get this far to remove it you can just click cancel and click on the drop down arrow if it's just a border and just select no border and it removes it so keep in mind what you have selected if you want it for a paragraph then make sure you either have the entire paragraph selected or you have the cursor flashing within it and not just part of the paragraph unless of course you want part of the paragraph to have a border around it let me go ahead and click off and then finally some shading come up here click on the drop down arrow because it is borders and shading select it and let's go ahead and click on the shading tab something shady click the fill color and maybe something Ooh, let's do a light green click on it oh that's not too light glad we got the preview window okay a little bit lighter and then go ahead and click okie dokie and nice one last thing let me go ahead and select some text within this paragraph and then come up here and click on the drop down arrow and go to borders and shading now on the borders tab it says you can apply this to the selected text or click on the drop down arrow and say paragraph of course if we didn't have any text selected the default would be paragraph and we could only work with paragraph so then I can go ahead and say I want that border that border or you can click on the corresponding boxes to add your borders and we can say that for the top oh you're not even gonna see that and then this maybe something for the bottom in any case click okie dokie you get the idea and then to get rid of it let's come back down here click in it and the no borders is right there so I can just go ahead and click on that instead of clicking on the drop down arrow keeps the shading so keep that in mind if you're like hey what is the shading is it a highlight let me click and drag and come up here to the font group and click on highlight and say well it already has no color how come it's still there again that's what makes word interesting is that there's several different ways to go about doing something and technically this is a highlight but it's not from the highlighter it's from shading so click on the drop down arrow borders and shading select the shading tab click on the drop down arrow and say you want no color and click okie dokie thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel get notified of the latest videos and for only two dollars a month you can have access to all my microsoft office training videos